How we going guys? It's Ricky in Isan here, coming to you from the new place here. So just a little townhouse here in uh, Chayapum that I'm renting for 6,000 baht a month. So I'll put the conversions up for that. Pretty good deal. You won't be able to find anything like that back home, but it is Thailand, of course. So we've got three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and some of the rooms are huge. So just gonna do a little bit of a house tour because people wanna see what's going on. Mind you, I barely got any furniture <laughs> and it's still, you know, setting up, but um, yeah, it's, it's doing all right. It's been a busy week too. So the kids, Lily and Daisy, They've been in hospital for isolation, so they've been fine in hospital for isolation. I've been allowed to visit them, which has been good. I haven't been able to stay overnight. I've been able to visit them and they're doing fine. They've just got the sniffles, a little bit of a sore throat. They've had COVID, um, but they're doing fine. They're supposed to be back home today, so I'm gonna see them today regardless. I'm hoping they'll be at the house, so, because I'm gonna go pick up the motorbike as well. But we'll take on a little bit of a house tour. So this is just a living room, pretty, pretty standard. Living room, TV, huge room. Nice ceiling, nice lighting. The dog settled in all right, so the dog's a bit stressed. Where is he? But he's settled in all right now. It's now Saturday, I believe I came here Wednesday. Uh, it's like a little, I don't know, cupboard under here. Nothing too special, just cardboard boxes in there really from a few things and underneath the stairs. But yeah, just a little uh, living room. We'll just hit up the, the hallway and we'll go directly to the end. Where we've got a kitchen, so. Just a standard little Thai kitchen, nothing too flash. I'll just get the door shut because it can be quite loud with the neighbours. But yeah, I just brought a, brought a tiny little fridge for a uh, bugger all really. Just tiny, tiny fridge, you know. Look at the height comparison. <laughs> um, that's all I really need and I could even unplug it at times. And what, what have I even got in the fridge? Vegemite, more just to get the ants away. A sauce bottle, I hope Drew doesn't see that. Um, yeah, dog food really. What have we got in the freezer? We've got something special in the freezer today to show you guys. Chico rolls, mate. Been uh, whinging I couldn't get any dim sims, but I managed to get some Chico rolls, so happy with that. But uh, yeah, just a little uh, tin roof kitchen. Unfortunately, it's just tin roof there above the concrete wall, so it'll be quite noisy for next door. They, they'll be able to hear me right now, and yeah, pretty minimal. I don't, I don't really cook, so it's got my kettle. That's more for when the babies are here or when I want to have my uh, chocolate milk. An air fryer, every bloke needs an air fryer. A slow cooker that will probably never get used and uh, ended up buying a washing machine. It was very cheap as well, um, Toshiba. So yeah, just a washing machine. And then you got the uh, yeah the water tank, the water tank and the pump, just to uh, yeah keep the water going. Uh, yeah, and there's a small townhouses nearby. So we'll just head back in through the house. On this first floor, I'll shut this door so I'm not making too much noise. For the neighbors, it's been a bit stressful with the dog. The dog is a bit, stressed at first but he's, he's pretty calm at the moment usually he gets a bit um a bit protective outside so we've got a front gate outside and the, the road's pretty busy so he just can't control the road but in the village he just wants to bark at everyone who goes past the house so this is uh the downstairs bedroom which is essentially this going to be a junk room probably park my bicycles there i could even park my bicycles in that little chamber underneath the stairs if i want to but still setting things up as you can see it's got tools tools in a sports bag and yeah the sofa that came with the house isn't up, isn't really great, so I just thought I'd pop it in here. And yeah, just the clothes, the clothes will dry in here essentially. Um, I noticed next door, because they've got the windows open, they've, they've turned their downstairs bedroom into the kitchen. You can see the fridge and microwave and everything. And I guess they've got a table, I think that's a really good idea. And potentially that could just work as a laundry. But um, I'm gonna keep it pretty minimal. I'm not really gonna buy much, but I'm gonna make sure, you know, I can provide quality of life on my twins as well. So here we are, we've got the uh, downstairs bathroom. So, pretty minimal, it's a bit, I mean, the house itself's a bit aged, isn't it? You can tell it's a bit aged, probably 20 years old, 15 years old, but it's still nice, it's in good nick. When, when, I, when I first came and looked at this thing, it was pretty um, dusty and needed a good clean. Um, you can even see the walls, the walls probably need a good paint, don't they? You're not gonna clean that out, and that's, and that's everywhere in the walls, um, even here, but it is what it is for Thailand, isn't it? And I couldn't really find anything and just happened to find this place. And, had about five maids come here to clean the place out. A handyman who fixed about 14 light bulbs, fixed all these leaks. You can see the pipe under here has been replaced because that was leaking. Um, literally fixed everything. So they've done a really good job, the, uh, the actual place I'm renting it off. But yeah, pretty minimal bathroom. Uh, for long toilets, against the wall. It's against the wall, unlike in the village. And uh, this shower wasn't here. They actually popped a shower in here. So um, no hot water on this one. But jeez, uh, oh, I aimed it at myself. Didn't even look like it was aimed at me. 
But yeah, just a pretty minimal basic shower with some uh, strong, it doesn't even look like a shower head, does it? That, that, that's the way the water comes out. I just sprayed it all over myself. But just a pretty basic, you know, standard shower. Just a bit awkward because it's, it's right underneath the stairs, but I mean, you can, you can make use of it if you want to. All right, so I've cleaned myself up a bit after spraying the water all over my face. And we'll take you up the stairs. So, nice great staircase. Um, the day I moved in, so the day the furniture arrived, when the furniture guys were here, I met the neighbour, so the neighbour next door actually speaks English. So, I mean, one of the things I wanted to move to the city for was a bit more of a social interaction and more people to meet. And straight away I met somebody who speaks English. He's actually an English teacher from uh, Zimbabwe. So, it was nice to meet him. The huge ceilings here with the staircase, isn't it? Grand old wooden staircase. Up to the second floor. And we'll turn right. This is going to be Lily and Daisy's bedroom. So it's not really set up yet, but you can sort of see what I'm, what I'm going for. Wardrobe that came with the place. And basically just a bit of junk at the moment. But huge space, isn't it? Mattress came with the house, so... So I'll use the other side. This side's a bit dirty. Put, put sheets on and everything, and there'll be Lily and Daisy's bed. And I brought their little beds as well, because the Thai family don't use them. So the Daisy bed, the Lily bed, I'm looking forward to having them here with me. Just bits and pieces of junk, you know, a couple of baby stuff. I've left most of the stuff at the house for now. Uh, bibs. Baby car seats, of course, because I'll need them for uh, going in the car backwards and forwards. Baby bottles, a couple of wipes from uh, David in Lemon Farm. Lemon Farm, Thailand, because uh, we just got heaps at home at the moment. And just general bags and stuff. First Aussie footy that my dad sent. A couple of dollars my mum sent over and I uh, got the koala and kangaroo under there as well. Just some, just some of the good toys that I don't want the Thai family just to, you know, let go outside and get wrecked. I brought some of the good toys just with me. I think there's a koala there from Penny as well. It's actually the first teddy bear I ever had, guys, so I've still got it. 29 years later, Bo. As well as uh, this clown thing, so... There'll be something to show Lily and Daisy as well as they grow up. Got to have my uh, hat set up somewhere. So I've just got my clothes in here for now. I don't know if I'll organize some more clothing storage or what, but yeah, that's just where I've got. Come back out near the, uh, the staircase, pop a little mat here, and this is the second bathroom. So, Falang toilet again. Uh, this was also leaking underneath. Uh, wasn't connected up properly, so the handyman fixed it all up nicely. Same weird white pinkish design, which I don't really like. And I did organise for this shower a brand new hot water system. So this shower I just had wires sticking out. And if uh, Do Home came and installed it the next day, it was about a thousand baht to get it uh, installed. And you know, they make sure it's all safe and everything. And they even popped a new uh, shower head on. So that's hot water ready to go if I've ever got family here or, you know, it's just, it's just handy to have two hot water systems. That one's uh, real hot too. And I love the little window here. Put the little window out to the staircase, I guess, just to make sure the bathroom's not fogging up. And here we go into the, the Grand Master bedroom. It's got the curtain shut. I've got a rip of view out the window, but I just don't want to show exactly where I am because I am in the city, so you'll be able to look at some of the landmarks and figure out where I am. So it's best just to keep your, your location as private as you can. Air purifier, which is essential at the moment. The air quality is horrendous. It's in the 150s, 160s out here in the country at the moment. And it's no different in the village compared to this little city. It's probably a bit better in this little city before people slander me for moving to a city, but yeah, the air quality is horrendous in the sun at the moment. Uh, air conditioner works great. And then the bed that came with the place as well. So yeah, the bed's all right. The lighting. Little, I don't know, makeup table, I guess. Just got my basic set up for, uh, you know, I'm a man, I don't really use a whole heap. But yeah, just a little, little makeup table. This all come with the house, it's fantastic. I brought another mat. And this is the uh, master bathroom. So I've got the, the little windows that go outside. Same color scheme, falang toilet. The mirror's up a lot higher, which I like. I'm used to um, in the village house having it sort of crouch down every time I use the mirror. And every, every time I come use the mirror, I'm always crouching down. So I'm uh, pr pretty happy with this actually. And then um, into my shower, master shower. Pretty basic, but still better than what we're using in the, in the actual village. Eh? Proper shower, hot water system. This one's not super hot. So maybe, you know, if it's a cold night or, you know, Bit of a cold day, I'll go have a shower in that one. Um, but this will be my main shower, it's fine with the, uh, the hot weather because it's quite hot at the moment. So what do you reckon guys? This, this place is in a fantastic location. 7-Elevens, parks, small shops, everything's all nearby. Not like in the village where I was 10 k to the closest 7-Eleven. Would you live in this? Would you live in something like this for 6,000 baht a month? I'll put the conversions up again. 
Um, I think it's pretty good value for money, even if it's, you know, when you look at the average wage of a Thai person, it's, it's a really good price, really good get. I've got friends living in Bangkok for 20,000 baht a month and I'm paying 6,000 baht, so over three months until I actually pay a month's worth of what they're paying. And I think this will be great for the babies. I think it'll be great. Um, we've got a river, river views, which I'll show you shortly. I'll go out there and show you guys the river views. And one thing that confused me a bit was the waste collection. There is no waste collection for the house. So I'm not sure about the toilet. I think the toilet might be hooked up to the city mains. I'm not sure if we get the septic tank out here. I'm gonna have to find out. But um, if you're trashing your garbage, I'll show you guys what we gotta do. It actually, um, I was baffled. What baffled what I gotta do, but now I've got my head around it and I see what goes on in the city. I think it's actually not a bad little system that they've got. So yeah, I'm just down the street a little bit, just a short walk. And you wouldn't think I'm in a city, would ya? Still quite raw, isn't it? And this is what we do with the waste collection. And I think it's like this all over the city. So sort of a lot of the streets have these and they actually do follow the rules, believe it or not. I just chucked everything in whatever bin I wanted to. So this is all recyclable stuff. So I was popping in a recycle bin, but uh, yeah, I popped some stuff in here the other day. And when I came back down, um, someone rearranged it all correctly. Probably the garbage man. It gets, I think it's emptied maybe once or twice a day because I see it full and it's empty not long later. So yeah, that's what you do. I think that's great. I think it's way better than having a bin out the front of your house and stinking, isn't it? I think it's, uh, yeah, I didn't like it at first, but I think it's a pretty good setup doing the, um, the waste collection like that in the city. I'll just show you guys the river views we got here, mate. This, is a, this goes all the way up for a while across from the house. Beautiful, though. I didn't know we are getting riverfront views from the house, but this is lovely. Bit of algae. I've seen stuff in it already, too. Um, and people coming along uh, looking at it all during the night with the, with the head torches on, looking for frogs maybe, or other insects and bugs, but uh, not bad, eh? Old mate quite likes his little yard now. Just hangs out here, watches the traffic go past, sits in the sun. You like it, Lou, eh? Like his little haircut too, guys. Little line at the moment. But yeah, I mean, it's, for the area here in Nissan, I think it's nice. But it, you know, it could have got something a lot nicer, but you're paying a lot more. I think for the price and the age of the place, I think, I think it's in good nick, eh? Um, let me know what you think. Would you stay in this for 6,000 baht a month out here in a, you know, a pretty small city? There's not a lot going on compared to the bigger cities, but it's still a huge change from the village. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what it's going to be like with the babies. Um, I'm going to wait today, just recover. I'll give them, I might give them you know, a few more days, really recover from this thing before I get them here because it's going to be a big change for them too, I think, getting out here and they're just being crooks. So, yeah, we'll just, we'll just play everything safe by them as well. Shocking timing. The day I moved in, the uh, baby's test positive for COVID. I'm backwards and forwards with them. I'm trying, I've got people, you know, maids and stuff got to let in. I went back to get the dog as well. And the buffalo neighbor next door, bawling his eyes out, crying, absolutely weeping. He thought I was going forever. He was never going to see me again. Um, a bit heartbreaking really, but you know, you got to appreciate the love, don't you? So yeah, this little house tour, we won't, we won't show too much of the house, just the daily, the daily vlogs, the daily life as we continue with the twins as always. But yeah, it's gonna be about the area and what we get up to out here, so yeah. And of course, there'll be some village stuff too, because I'm gonna be back there all the time. So thanks for watching another vlog, guys. We'll see you next video.